everyone, it's Michelle here or Mish Crafts and today I have a homemade squishy tag video for you guys and everything Kawaii 11 created this so credits to her. I'll try to leave her channel in the description box as well as the questions featured in this video so let's get started. A lot of you guys have been asking me the same questions all over again so I've decided to do this homemade squishy tag video because some of your questions were similar to the ones in this tag so I'm just going to answer all of them and hopefully I've answered some of your questions. I've wrote everything down on this notepad so let's get on to question number one. First question is what was the very first squishy you've ever made and I think I've answered that question in my Q&A video but for the squishy tag video, I'm just going to show you guys again. So the very first squishy that I've made was this Domo ice cream sandwich squishy. And uh, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's made out of makeup sponges, if you can't already tell. Of course, it's not very squishy because it's made out of makeup sponges and I've glued them together with a hot glue gun, so that's even worse. But here's what it looks like. Question number two is, which squishy do you like the most and or the most proud of? So I have three because I can't really decide between those three. So I'm just gonna show them all to you guys. The first one is this very cute curatory in a chicken costume. Next is this Hello Kitty Popsicle Squishy. Then the third one is this iBloom Gold Bar Squishy. The third question is, which squishy did you epically fail at? Hands down, it has to be this donut squishy with sprinkles. And you can already tell that I didn't really paint the base of the donut and I just splattered paint all over at the top and threw on some sprinkles. So it's not squishy and it's very crusty. I don't really like this. The next question is, what do you make your homemade squishies out of? And I know I've already answered this question in my Q&A video, but for the squishy tag, I'm just going to answer it for you guys. I make my squishies out of car wash sponges, and I recently got memory foam from banggood.com. I'll leave a link to where I got this from in the description box down below if you're interested in buying from them. And yeah, that's what I make my homemade squishies out of. The next question is, which squishy is the squishiest? And it has to be these two pill squishies. And I also have a tutorial on them, so I'll leave it in the description box down below. And I actually made two of these, so the first one is this blue pill. As you can see, it is super duper squishy. And here's the red one. It's very squishy. Question number six is, which squishy was the most difficult to make or the one that took the longest time? And it has to be this brownie bredo squishy because the packaging is very detailed and I had to cut every piece out. So there's that one. This one's not very squishy, but I still kind of like it since this took forever to make. Question seven is which squishy is the biggest and which squishy is the smallest? My biggest squishy would have to be this Jumbo Punimaru Panda Cornet squishy. It's not very squishy, but I really like how this turned out. If you haven't already tell, this is 
my newest homemade squishy. I haven't made the packaging for it yet, but it's just gonna have to be in this plastic packaging for now. And my smallest squishy are these pill squishies. Question number eight is, why do you make homemade squishies? And it all started when I watched squishy videos, obviously. Um, I think the first homemade squishy video I saw was by Ketchup Geary, and I really loved her homemade squishies, so I've decided to try it out for myself, and it kept going on and on and on, and I made a whole bunch of them, and now I got kind of addicted to squishies, and... That's how I started making homemade squishies. Question number nine is, which squishy did you make the most recent and do you like it? This is my most recent squishy. It's just this jumbo cornet squishy that I've already showed you guys before. And I really like how it turned out at the moment. I don't know how the packaging will look like, but hopefully fingers crossed that it turns out nice. The last question is, how long did it take to make the squishy work the most hard on? It actually depends on how big and how detailed the squishies are. Usually it would take me two to three days to finish the whole thing, but that just depends on the squishy. So that concludes this homemade squishy tag video created by Everything Kawaii 11. I really enjoyed answering these questions. Um, yeah, that's basically it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!